Right, there we are. We're looking at my little old um, wind generator. It's only a, a toy thing that I made up for fun out of uh, uh, bits of bicycle. It's, um, uh, it's about, I don't know, a metre and a half diameter or something. And it's driving into a Sturmy Archer hub dynamo. Uh, but you can see how it works. The blades are made out of uh, PVC plastic pipe. I sort of, I found that if you just draw a long triangle on a bit of paper, stick it on the outside of a bit of plastic pipe, and cut that out, then you end up with something with the with the right twist, a sort of tangent twist to it for a blade. Then I um, covered them in ripstop nylon, and uh, there it's been for about 10 years just doing that, not really serving any purpose other than uh, killing the occasional sparrow. Um, but I've come back to look at it, and uh, it's, it's always had a little issue that when it when it really gets churning around, all it's doing at the moment, by the way, is powering this little bulb on here. Never took it very seriously, but I don't think it does it. Even the bulbs last a little bit more. But uh, when it really gets cranky around, the stormy archer has a dynamo. It's getting this sort of rattling vibration that hopefully you'll be out here if we get a decent bit of wind. And uh, I'm just thinking that somebody else must have done something to similar this is the pub dynamo come across the same problem found a way to ground it because it's like it, it vibrates like anything once it gets going you feel there's a sort of a you know distinct indexing of it through the magnets inside but once it, it gets going and it really starts to vibrate and and then if you put your finger on it a bit you can sort of stop it but it might do it now not quite enough wind um, but there's no play in it, I've checked it all out, you know, it's not, uh, it's not, there's no wooden bearings or anything, it seems to be a feature of it, it's not, um, I'm just thinking that somebody's probably found a way around it, there it goes. See a distinct as it's indexing around, it's juddering on the magnets. I put my finger on it, it stops it, but I'm just thinking there must be another way. <laughs> so I'm kind of, you know, open to suggestions really. There you go. Right then, I'm gonna give you the sort of close-up tour of it just for, for what it's worth. Um there we go, there's the gizmo. Well, we can zoom in a bit, it might be helpful. Yeah, look at that high tech. <laughs> uh, this uh, Heath Robinson would be ashamed, I'm sure. But um, there it is, I, I, that little hub there, the aluminium hub, is the sort of only special bit of it. I just made that myself and I laid that with a bit of aluminium. The sort of split in it. The way the, the blades are held in is they're like bolts that go in holes and the split allows the holes to clamp up with the, with the bolts you see uh, to, so I can adjust the, the pitch of it if I um, if I particularly need to. Was that me swinging the camera about wildly there? Yeah that'll do. And you see there's a big bolt sticking out on the back. Well that's just the balance weight because uh, when you've made something out of jigsawing out bits of uh, plastic pipe, uh, accuracy tends to be a little off. So I had to balance it with, with that bolt there, uh, just so it doesn't vibrate itself to bits. But there you go. There's the that's the basic thing. Uh, the uh, the actual pivot of the windmill itself is one of those marvellous um, cassette. Um, crank hubs that you get these days cost about 12 quid and that's just that's the one that was on the original it's been up there 10 years and never had a never had an issue it's all a bit you know tongue in cheek but that's, uh, yeah if I could uh, if I could get some resolution this dynamo thing that would really there it goes it's really about to stop it Oh no, too late. <laughs> Not very windy today. But you get the idea anyway. Perhaps I should use a different dynamo, but I just don't know what to use. Anyway, any thoughts?
Much appreciated. Cheers.